Hi, my name is Tara Guchadar, and I'm the co-director of the Traditional Arts and Ethnology Center. Today I want to tell you about one of the most unusual objects we have in our new exhibition called Seeds of Culture from Living Plants to Handicrafts, which focuses on the Job's Tear plant and particularly the seed beads that are used in ethnic costumes throughout, throughout Southeast Asia. So this is a headdress of the Falam Chin people. Um, it's used by Chin women for special occasions and it's made from a number of very unusual uh, materials. At the top here, these long pieces you can see are bird's feathers, um, which are attached to porcupine quills. Um, and these are fastened onto a headband, which is made of bamboo and rattan. At the back here, you can see the fringe, uh, which is made of the Job's tears. And at the end of the fringe um, are several different leaf shapes. Um, and these are actually uh, cut from aluminum cans. Traditionally, they would be made of beetle wings, iridescent beetle wings, but nowadays they've found an ingenious substitute of modern materials. Uh, the Chin people are quite special for using the Job's tears in a manner that uh, where they hang, usually from a fringe or a tassel, um, in order to create a very pleasing sound uh, when they dance or when they walk during ceremonies and special occasions. Uh, the Chin people are one of the ethnic groups living in Myanmar, um, in northern Myanmar, close to the border with India and Bangladesh, where you can also find the Chin people. Uh, there are about 40 different subgroups of the Chin people, um, and the name that comes before the word Chin uh, refers to the region of the Chin state that they live in. So this is a Falam Chin headdress, which means that it's part of the Falam Chin people um, of the Falam region. To learn more about this and other traditional uses of Job's tears, please visit us at TAC in Wolpaban. Thank you.